The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name? Did we not drive out demons in your name? Did we not do mighty deeds in your name? Then I will declare to them solemnly, I never knew you. Depart from me, you evildoers. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain fell, the floods came, the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on the rock. And anyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. When Jesus finished these words, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority, not as their scribes. The Gospel of the Lord. We have a wonderful gospel today to reflect upon in Matthew. And we might say uh, from the beginning, our Lord warned his disciples, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. Giving a kind of a nice title, Lord, Lord, may seem flattering, but what is the intent of that person? And, uh, and so if that person is not religious, spiritual, prayerful, uh, living out the commandments as he best knows them, then that's a useless title to kind of say, Lord, Lord, listen or help me, and then they have no character pr to prove their goodwill. And so it is, uh, it is uh, for our Lord a, a wonderful thing of us is how we go day by day, week by week, living out our faith as best we can, and hopefully uh, it's natural for us, uh, not something we acquire late or learn about. And so this is a, a wonderful routine, uh, how we touch and reach out to people, how we care about them, and how we uh, respond to maybe difficult decisions or how we uh, are willing to put our faith on the line to help others out. And so we have different gifts and other people have gifts that we don't have. And many times we find that people have gifts we didn't know, and it's nice to be able to be aware of who those people are. And so for the, uh, the greatness of the one thing of the Jewish people was to try to discern what the will of God is for each of us, using our different talents, our abilities, uh, and, and, and also using good decisions about how we know and live out our faith. So the will of God is not something we'll find written out for us. It's doing best what we know best in challenging as well as easy situations. And so the, uh, we, uh, for the Old Testament prophets, there was a sense of them being guided by the Holy Spirit and their sense was the will of God is the work of the Holy Spirit working in us we may not know it, realize it, feel it, or see it, but we have to somehow surrender ourselves and our will to somehow discern what it is God wants us to do. And so we, we hope our spiritual gifts are, are uh, wonderful and generous and can be shared, that our spiritual gifts guide our life and our goodness, and that we have the courage to carry those through in the best way we can. Uh, and so uh, for uh, people of Matthew's time, uh, the, uh, the idea here of the houses built from various materials, uh, it was saying that a house built on solid rock is using good common sense. Uh, and so it, uh, it kind of, a, for a parable, it has you know, a great message of true foundation. 
Now, if you are a geologist, you would know that a house built on gravel and sand is almost as good as solid rock. It can take it's a great foundation, and it's not something uh, fragile. Uh, I've been told that by a geologist. So in this uh, wonderful uh, parables that Jesus used, they all had a great point. They were common parables the people of the Lord's time could easily identify with. Something of nature, something of sheep in the flock, whatever it may have been. And in the ancient world, houses were not very big. They could be built in short time. Uh, and so for people whose houses were not uh, of very expensive material, maybe the things around them, it made even better sense. But regardless of what your house is, it depends upon its foundation.